What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. I got an amazing lineup for you this afternoon. We're going to talk more about that hack on John Deaton's account. Jeremy Hogan times in, chimes in, excuse me. How about SEC and porn? Wait till you see this article. You're going to have a good laugh at this one. We're going to talk about privacy and crypto, atomic wallet, folks. If you have an atomic wallet, get your freaking crypto off right now. Run for the hills. I'm going to touch more on this. I'm going to talk about all these different wallets out there so you have a plan and you're ready to execute. We're going to talk about the reform for the SEC. Then we're going to go over the total cryptocurrency market cap and where we're heading. When this bull run kicks off, folks, I can just taste, taste XRP explosion inbound. I know this is going to be the years up. This year and next year for XRP, I'm ready. All my ducks are lined up. Ever since 2017, 2025 has been my end date, folks. 2023, 2024 is where I firmly do believe the price of XRP is going to take off and absolutely rock it. I'm ready. 2025, I think, is when I get to kick up the boots, hang it up, and leave the old 9 to 5. We are going to tell, but I have never been so excited in my life for this moment. I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to get out there and enjoy my life while I'm still freaking young to go have fun, enjoy this beautiful Florida weather and to be stress-free. Don't worry. I'm never leaving YouTube. I'm never leaving social media. This is actually a passion of mine. I love getting on here. I feel bad if I don't get on here twice per day. Yes, I only got one video out. I felt horrible, but you know what? I needed a break. I went out. I was with the girlfriend, her brother, the wife. We were on the boat. We had a great time. Now I'm back and I'm in full force and I'm ready to kick this thing off. So let's do it. Bitcoin, $27,212 is down a half a percent. Ethereum, $1,900 is down a quarter of a percent. USDT is that coming in at dollar peg. USDC still sent at $0.99 cents as XRP is looking so beautiful. $0.53. Cents. Oh, how much do I love you, XRP? You don't even know. Total cryptocurrency market at 1.63 trillion. Bitcoin down is 45.37%. Folks, this is all peanuts. You haven't seen anything yet. Trust me. I talked about this in the first video of the day. John Dean's account got hacked. Yes, hacked. Don't listen to anything coming from John Deaton's account until we have further validation that he has an account, his account back. Jeremy Hogan chimed in and said, John Deaton's account was hacked on his birthday. Shaking my head. Please don't follow any links from him. Karma will get the hack is don't you worry. For argument's sakes, if someone was to have gone to the website on their phone and hit the connect the MetaMask button, what should she say person do now, now other than feel stupid? I'll tell you something. If you went and connected your MetaMask, you get your damn money off of it. That's what I would do. Even though if you just connect your wallet, folks, you don't enter any of those recovery phases, you're good to go. Usually what you see with these MetaMask hacks is people fall for it because they ask them for to put their seed words in and they get hacked. If you connected, you're right. I don't think these people were going after wallets to be, to be quite frank with you. And you know, and this is all just my per se, my what I'm thinking here, because I've seen a bunch of hacks since being in crypto for six, seven years. Usually when there is a hack like this and they take someone's account, they want you to buy a coin because you feed them liquidity. I'm guessing it's with an Ethereum. I haven't even looked into the token to be honest with you because I know it's not even worth my time because I know it's freaking fake. But what they want you to do is they, you buy, they create a token, you buy the token to get your Ethereum, your token sits in your wallet and it just dies off because it's it's fake. It's There's nothing backing it. But the more people, the more hype that they drive, and there's been a bunch of tweets on the Deaton's account, the more money they get in. So pretty much it's just like people donate any money to, this, to this, whoever made this account up. It's all it really is. So I don't think you have any concern there to be honest with you. SEC porn. While they're busy driving... The folks out of the United States, while they're busy, so busy telling us the crypto rules are so clear. They're that clear that the SEC has all the time in their hands that the SEC is having a porn problem. Officials are surfing sites during a financial crisis report found. Some of the top SEC officials spend their, uh, spend more, their working hours surfing the web for porn. Can we give it up for the SEC, folks? The finest agency in the freaking world. Privacy. This article came out from Blockworks. It's pretty interesting. Actually, no one really cares that crypto isn't that private. This is interesting. 
I don't know how you can say no one cares. Maybe the everyday investor, the everyday average Joe, maybe we don't care. But I think on the other hand, if you look at it, if you look at the larger institutions out there and the banks who want to actually use DLT and different cryptos to help improve a broken financial system, they care. That's who cares. For me, do I care if someone knows my wallet and can see what I'm doing with my money in it, what I'm buying, what I'm cashing out, what cryptos I'm holding or NFT? I don't care. You're right. I don't care. Shit, if you want to know, just ask me. I'll tell you what I'm buying. I tell my patrons all the time what I'm buying. I usually do some TikToks and tell you what I'm buying. People DM me. My DMs are open. Hey, Rip, what do you think about this token? You own any? I'll tell you. I have nothing to hide. You're not competing against me. I'm not competing against you. We're all in the crypto game together. If I hold something and you don't, it's not the end of the world. Or if you hold something and I don't, it's not the end of the world. But if we both want to talk about and hold the same token, we're not competing against each other. We are big enough to pump things, to use people as exit liquidity like we've seen some of these scammers do, like Bitcoin, uh, BitBoy out there, right? What they do is they get their whole little private circle, they get them all in, they have them pumping, they give them free tokens, and they use you as exit liquidity, folks. Atomic Wallet, this is very important, folks. I want you to pay attention. If you have any assets on an Atomic Wallet, transfer them out as soon as possible to another one. Mobile wallets on a device with security processes I would recommend that support the Cosmos are Exodus, Trust, and Bifrost. Okay, Atomic Wallet put out. The wallets got compromised. It, it, listen, it's too late. If you're going to sit there and try to figure out if this is your wallet or not, if you have an atomic wallet and your crypto still in there, get it off. What you should do, and if you hold any tokens that are on the XRP ledger, you should always have a sum wallet ready to go. They take two seconds to spin up. They're hardware wallets. They're safe, trusted, vetted, vented, easy to use. You should be able to get your tokens off. Bifrost, another amazing hardware, cold storage wallet. I guess it's cold and hot. Always have a backup wallet, folks. A lot of these wallets are free to set up because if something does go down like this and you need to get your crypto assets off, you better have a go-to. Let's talk about reform at the SEC. <coughs> Excuse me. A modest proposal to reform the SEC. The draft bill began. It was released yesterday, pa Congressman Patrick McHenry, uh, Fred Chill, and Congressman GT. A golden opportunity to begin a reform for the SEC and rein its, its tendency for regu regulatory overreach. Amend the bill to say at the, at the conclusion of every litigated SEC case, the court shall determine which party is the prevailing party. If the court determines that the defendant is the prevailing party, then the SEC shall pay all attorney fees. I agree. This would mean if Ripple was to prevail in the case with the SEC, the SEC should reimburse them the $200 million. I agree with that as well. Well, so what are the benefits? The SEC will need to think carefully before bringing weak cases because there will be some real consequence for losing. A defendant who has done nothing wrong would be less likely to just settle. They, recover, they can recover their fees in the end. More, if the SEC loses a case, why should a corporate defendant or an individual be stuck with a bill for the SEC's mistake? This is a pro-investment reform. We already have shifting provisions just like this one in the federal statutes. I agree. I absolutely agree. The Ripple should freaking count to sue the SEC for a bogus suit if they lose. That's what I think. I'm with it. Total cryptocurrency market cap. Where are we going, folks? Let me blow it up. You see we're kind of at the bottom end of it right now. We'll get to the upper end. He's, JD's looking at anywhere from a 3.2 to, to a 5.2. All-time high was a 2.7. I think 3.2 is on the low end. I think we're going to get to that 5.2. I think we 2x. You can see down here, we were at a 5.2 billion. We went to 5.20. We came back down from a 5.20, about a 130. We went up to a 1.3 trillion. That was a 2x. <coughs> a little over a 2x. I think we are going to do the exact same thing. That's why I keep calling for it. I keep calling for like a $5.4 trillion market cap. I'll take anything above a five. I'll take anything above a $4 trillion. How does that sound? Breaking US SEC replaces intro introductory disclaimer. Another win for Ripple. What is this? It says, according to Ben Edwards, the US Securities Exchange Commission 
tweaking its disclaimer, its disclaimer for public speeches, it now mentions the statements that the remarks given by the officials are in their official capacity. It is expected that, re that this redaction came in response to Ripple Labs. Of course it did. I still think it's BS that the SEC comes out there, even Gary Gensler, and they tell you their thoughts and opinion, but it's not legal. It's not legal. Like, they're not legally mentioning it. They're just giving you their opinion. I'm not paying to hear Gary Gensel's opinion, folks. I'm not paying to hear the SEC's opinion. I want to know the freaking laws. That's what I'm paying you for. Tell me the laws. That's what I want to know. That's what everyone wants to know. Egar Crypto said this, XRP, 781 days. Cannot XRP cannot grind its way its way above the final wake up line. It must blast off. XRP has been getting rejected from the final wake up line for almost 781 days. This is the fourth attempt, but it was not successful so far. However, in the power of number five, the fifth attempt might be the breakout. You can see it up here, folks. Let me go back to the first picture. We're at it. Zooming in. The final wake up line is the blue. We are at it right now. XRP is at 53 cents it needs to get above it it needs to get above and uh, xrp breaking down and getting us to that 58 cent mark is where we want to go and then it's all hands on deck then it's get ready let's get ready to party folks wash your damn hands be nice and be kind to each other ripple van winkle is out